all right guys so today I'm gonna be working on a uh, 05 f250 um, crew cab short box gonna be doing the shocks on it these ones here I believe are a pro comp shock is what yeah they're a pro comp and they are as you can tell just completely blown out there is absolutely no shock left in these things so I'm gonna attempt to do it with the wheels and tires on a lot of guys I've seen have pulled off the tires I get for ease of access that's for sure but uh, should be able to get these changed out being on the vehicle and uh, compressing the shocks now that's uh, that's the driver's side and then passenger side here it's just as bad so we'll get these changed out up front here and then uh, in the back we'll get these changed out as well so shouldn't be too bad um, I do know up here is just a pin bolt so you have just the, the pin stud on this side here so you don't have to get anything back here and then there's a nut I believe it's a 19 millimeter so and then uh, just the bottom what I'm replacing them with are the uh, Philstein 5100s um, so I got here's the here's the part number on them for you guys interested but these things should uh, improve the ride quality tremendously and uh, I thought I ought to do pretty good so I will uh, get set up and start getting the front ones taken off. my tools um, this top one here on the very top of the shock see if you guys can see that this one here is either 19 or 3 quarter my 3 quarter fits on there because I don't have a 19 and the bottom here is 13 16 so I'll try to attempt to get this thing broke loose here I don't know how long these things have been on here, but well, not too bad. It's always nice to get some penetrating oil on there, um, but I didn't put any on there. Sure will be nice once these things are changed out. Should ride a whole lot different. Right now you hit any kind of bump, it just bottoms right out, you know. So, time to replace them. I've heard a lot of reviews on the uh, 5100s. Uh, a lot of guys seem to really like them. My old man had them on his pickup, and uh, he really liked them as well. So, I thought, what the heck, you know? Get a good set on here and uh, be done with it. These gear wrenches are nice until you can't use the gear wrench anymore. <laughs> I'm getting in here. I'm going to send a fender. It'll give you a whole lot of room, but at least you don't have to go through the top. Now, the Bill Stevens come with all the new hardware, so you don't have to reuse this old hardware like mo most shocks you know you, you get new hardware with them so that definitely helps out long-winded old girl all right so there's that don't need that no more and then on top you got these washers 
and a rubber bushing. So should be, oh yeah. When I press that down with just two fingers and she's going up a little bit, but there ain't much left to it. So now we'll get you on the bottom here. And that one there is an 18 millimeter. So on the inside of these, they have a nut with a uh, tab on it so that it keeps it from spinning. Pull out your bolt, you'll reuse that one. And then uh, get this one yarded out of here. So yeah, that thing. That thing is pretty well toasted. There ain't no no shock left in her. So ought to do pretty good with this new one. Let's get this new one going. Alright, got the new shock here. Get her put in. Uh, usually on these shocks, a good way to tell is they have the uh, Bilstein facing up. So this one obviously the boot goes forward and you have the... Uh, you know the stud here that'll go on top hope you guys can see that okay let's see here yeah so when you're putting in new shocks um you want to line up the bottom piece down here and should slide in and with minimal well actually i'll go top first and what i like to do is i like to keep them compressed if i can with these uh straps they have on them but it doesn't look like i'm going to be able to do that so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge some of them have the uh they're like a, a connector hooks around here and around here to keep them compressed so we'll see how this is going to work out for us but i'll take that strap off and then uh like i say they come with all the new hardware so we'll get that put on here and start getting the, the shock put in place. All right, so you got the uh, bushing here in the bottom cup. Now that'll uh, that'll sit on the bottom here, the bottom cup. And then there's a little raised bevel piece. That goes towards the shock mount. So we'll get this slid on here. Nice and tight. This thing put up in here maybe that's the plan anyway actually go from the top first and get the other hardware sorry guys been fighting a cold or a flu for the last two weeks so been kind of a pain in the butt but so you'll slide her up in here you'll get that other bushing push down These are tight fit, little bugger. All right, so got that top bushing on. That's a pain in the butt, I'm telling you. I uh, just kind of got to wiggle it down in there. I pushed it on first, took it off, and then wiggled it down in there to kind of spread it. It'd probably work easier with some penetrating oil. But I didn't want to go get some. <laughs> so on these, they have the boots all the way up. You can pull these down and there's a nut in here. But on top, they have an Allen key. And it's a 6 millimeter. So I got a little ratchet up here with a 6 millimeter on it. And it should hold her in place while I get this thing tightened down in there. That way you don't have to worry about taking your boot off again. 
Now when you get this thing tightened down in there, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you don't, you want your shock straight. I'll get it tightened down a little bit, and then I'll get that bottom pushed up in there. So right now it's starting to spin a little bit, so we'll get this bottom set up and pushed in there. I don't know how well we'll be able to do this, but... All right, hopefully you guys can see all right. See if I can get this thing pushed up and in to place here. All right. Get my pry bar. See if I can kind of manipulate it a little bit. And we got her kind of moving in there. Should have brought a hammer. There we go. Now, should be able to get this hopefully in there. Get that thing lifted up a bit. Get that bolt in. At least everything's well greased up down here from that old shock. Sometimes a little too much. <laughs> And I got mud coming in my eyes and it's a good good time. There we go. Get that pushed in. Set her down. We'll probably have to pull it out a little bit to screw it into here. But at least we got her in. Get this backed out a bit. Get that nut pushed in there. Let's see if we can get her started in there. Just ain't working how I wanted it to. But I guess it never does. You guys on here going, what the heck is this guy doing? I don't really want to start it with my impact, but I think I might do her. Give her just a little bit of a persuasion. There we go. She's in. Now we can finish the top. And get all this dirt out of my ear. Alright. Get this thing tightened down. 
be done with this side. Might help if I put the top ratchet in the right direction. to work. This little tool here, just put a little bit in, holds it. Top was three quarters, so that's it guys. One side done. We'll uh, get the other side done and uh, I'll show you when they're both on here. All right guys, so passenger side is on. Um, seriously, this thing took 10 minutes max uh, without fussing with the camera. And then uh, it's amazing how much faster things go when people aren't watching you. <laughs> but all in all, with the wheels and tires on, very simple. You only need a few basic hand tools and uh, you know, no need to take tires off. You can get her done with them so now we'll uh get moved to the back and uh see how that goes all right i don't know how well you guys can see i'm starting to lose daylight but this is the passenger rear shock there's one nut up there which is an 18 millimeter like i say this this bolt over here is actually just a stud so there's nothing on this end you have to hold on to and then you have this one bolt here, which is uh, 18 on, on both sides. So let's see if we can get this thing taken apart here. the top will treat us the same way. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh yeah. This little 3 8 impact is wonderful. Just slide the bottom out here, maybe. Get it above that brake line. And then just kind of wiggle her back and forth until she comes up. That's it. Another horrible shock. Go on with a new one. Remember the, uh, they say the Bilsteins go upright, so this is how she'll fit on here. And I'll be able to, should be able to leave that uh, band on here. Got a little bit more. Well, thought we were gonna leave the band on. <laughs> now, now it's gonna be more fun. I'm trying to get this thing up and over.
All right, so I got the band back on, and I'm gonna do it a little different. Hopefully, you guys can see here. But I'm gonna shove her up in here like so, and then kind of bring her back down. And you can kind of manipulate it a little bit. Swing this brake line out of the way just a little bit. Kind of pop her over and then down. That makes a little more sense, a little easier. And then the top should uh, go in a little better. So we'll get this bottom bolt in here. Then I can get that top part. Bottom bolt, all much better. So, put it on the bottom first, and then up top there, like I say, I still have this band here, but it'll uh, just about slide right on. never hurt nobody neither grab a hammer better just a tiny persuasion just hitting on that eyelid not the shock itself That's it, she's on. We'll get the nut down here on. And the nut up there on. Sorry, I got my little girl Hi. coming out. Hi, Daddy. Hi babe. Daddy. Yeah, I know it. It's my four year old. Tell me my shirt's dirty. So get this nut stut started on here. Hand. Bottom one in my hand. We'll crank her down. This side will be done. That's it. Get a knife and get this cut off of here. So I'll get that cut off, but uh, that's it, guys. It's pretty simple for the back uh, shocks. I'll go ahead and get this side on here before it gets dark and show you guys the uh, finished project. Well, we're done. I beat the uh, dark coming in, but these things were completely toasted so out with the old and uh in with the new so there's the driver's side rear driver's side front passenger side and Passenger side, all in. I'm really excited to see how these Bilstein 5100s work. Like I said, I've never, uh, yeah. I've never done it, or I've never had them. 
my old man had them a lot of people i know had them and uh you know i'll, I'll give you guys a honest review on them i run dirt roads every single day we got about uh three mile road down to our house and uh with the uh, oil trucks coming through here and they they keep up with it pretty good with the blades and everything but yeah uh it'll give them a workout that's for sure so i appreciate you guys following along uh just another thing that i've done to this pickup and uh got plenty more to do i still got to do a blue spring upgrade on the fuel and uh change out fuel filters for now but um plenty to come if you guys like this stuff you know make sure to uh hit that subscribe button hit the like button let me know what you guys think and uh until next time guys we'll see you later